Are you hungry? Because you certainly are about to be. Uh, we're going to get into the holiday spirit by way of food in the kitchen, making special treats for us this morning, all the way from Paris, Chef Sarah Severian. Good to see you this morning. Hi, Anita. Thank you so much for having me. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So um, we're going to get into your delicious truffles here in a moment, but I do want to let our viewers yeah. know it's morning here, but it's nighttime where you are. And you're working yes. with Glenn Ivy on this really cool, uh, you know, recipe that you're going to be able to share with our uh, Instagram fans of Glenn Ivy, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, today at 11 a.m. and tomorrow at 11 a.m. we'll be showcasing two recipes uh, for you. And uh, I'm going to give you a sneak peek today of the Christmas truffles. And uh, tomorrow will be also vegan gingerbread cupcakes. Yum. Okay, so also mm -hmm. wanted to talk about how you even got involved with Glen Ivy Hot Springs. That's here locally. And you in Paris yes. are able to connect with them. Tell us how that even came together. Uh, well, actually, last year I did a week-long culinary education residency at Glen Ivy where I hosted some cooking workshops for guests that were interested in learning a little bit more about plant-based holistic nutrition, which is what I specialize in. So that's how it started, the, the journey with Glen Ivy. And then um, I continue to create recipes and do little workshops for Glen Ivy from Paris and hopefully soon uh, back at Glen Ivy physically, but to keep guests um, educated and entertained with some new plant-based, healthy and delicious recipes. Very good. Now, I know when a lot of people hear plant-based, they're like, mm, is it gonna taste good? Uh, but we got yeah. that sneak freak. So show us your truffles and tell us how you put them together. Yes, absolutely. So the Christmas truffles basically, so just to give you a sneak mm. peek, this is a chocolate one that's covered with coconut flakes. And then you could also make it with matcha green tea, oh. the Japanese green tea, for example, that's really rich in antioxidants and that's really good for uh, memory. Mm -hmm. And so I can show you if you'd like some of the ingredients that of we course. need for these truffles that are very customizable. Yes, please do, because when okay. you think chocolate, how is that plant-based? <laughs> Yeah, so um, what we what I'm using as ingredients, I'm just going to tilt a little bit here. Do you see all of my ingredients yes. here? Yes. Sure do. So 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 here we have oats. So the Christmas truffles are based so with oats here, which are very rich in fiber and that help keep you feeling fuller for longer. And so the chocolate element comes from the cacao powder, mm -hmm. uh, which we use here, um, which is very rich in magnesium, antioxidants. So this is the magical ingredient that gives us chocolate. <laughs> and um, we have also maple syrup. So just for a touch of sweetness mm -hmm. and um, peanut butter. So this yeah. is what I'm using for these Christmas truffles with a little pinch of salt. Okay. Um, so however, um, although here, for example, for these truffles as you can see they're made with cacao powder so they have a more chocolatey and peanut butter mm -hmm. flavor um, you can customize it easily with um, for example matcha green tea so for anyone who who's a fan of, of matcha um, which is great um, you can also do a golden latte style oh. uh, Christmas uh, truffle by using um, turmeric, a little bit of cardamom and cinnamon as well. So all of those anti-inflammatory properties yeah. that are so um, promoted in plant-based and holistic lifestyle. You could even use, for example, acai powder for um, also that added antioxidant, okay. libido and boosting, immune boosting benefit as well. So it's really an easy it's recipe so that anybody can you. make at home. Do you, so tell us, Chef, how do you put it together? Do you mush it all together? <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna show you actually. Okay. So what is great about this recipe is that all you need is a bowl, and a spoon. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and so what you're going to do is you're simply going to start by adding all of the dry ingredients into your bowl as such. So I added the oats here mm -hmm. and now I'm just adding the cacao powder. I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt. Okay. And, and then for example, let's say you want to have a little bit of extra anti-inflammatory sure. properties with the turmeric and cinnamon for, especially with this year, with our immune systems being attacked by the virus, I think we could all use some, uh, <laughs> a little some boost. of that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so you would start by just mixing in the dried ingredients here. Okay. And then you would add all of the wet ingredients. So I would add the 
maple syrup, the peanut butter, and you could even add a little bit of vanilla extract, for example, or orange blossom for those who, who are fans. Very nice. There you this go. This is my so kind of cooking, Chef Sarah. It does not intimidate me at all. This is <laughs> doable, right? right? It's, it's <laughs> very, it. very easy. And plus, you don't have a lot of um, dishes to wash exactly. in the end. It's literally one bowl and a spoon. <laughs> very nice. And then while you're um, putting that together, we have less than a minute left. But if you can tell us real quick the benefits of plant-based, you know, holiday baking. Yes. I mean, just a plant-based lifestyle overall. Of course, so plant-based lifestyle or holistic nutrition is great because it helps to prevent diseases from developing, so cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, um, things like that, and it can actually help improve your sleep patterns, it can help give you more energy, it can um, really just help you physically and also mentally by avoiding anything that's um, overly processed, you know, any artificial additives, things like that. So plant-based nutrition really preaches to try and avoid um, anything overly industrialized as much as possible and to reduce animal-based um, products as well. And they're absolutely delicious. I guarantee it if you tune in, to Glen Ivy's Instagram account and that you make these and the little gingerbread cupcakes, you will not be sorry. And this is also a little sneak peek into Ooh. the cupcakes to give you a little taste of the holiday season. I love it. That looks beautiful. Oh, Chef Sarah, it's so Thank good to you. see you all the way live in Paris. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining us. And to learn more, Thank of you course, for me. of course, yeah, Glen Ivy's Instagram account at 11 o'clock this morning. So you're going to have a long night. <laughs> Oh, yes, absolutely. No, actually, the, the demonstrations are already, uh, there's step-by-step -step okay, demonstrations gotcha. that have already been done. Yeah. They're already <laughs> ready for you. Okay, perfect. Good to see you this morning. Thank you for sharing your Thank recipes. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, too.